So we have both an MPOLP and an MPOLS, so a power meter and a source. And then we have the screens where we have uh, the touch screen and we have a keypad. So you can navigate through the instrument by using a combination of the touch screen uh, and the keypad. Pretty much everything that you need to do, you can do from one or the other, but most people find that they use a combination of both. When you look at the menu, you'll see uh, that you have these different choices down the left-hand side. So I'll start at the bottom, which is this is the, all your administrative setups. Under more, you would have your setting, your time, and your date. You can look at your software options. You can turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The middle is important because this is where you set up your projects. And with the MPOLX, all your projects are set up on your power meter. And then when your power meter is connected to your source, the project information gets sent from the power meter to the source. So when we look at the projects, you can see what projects are defined in the device. You can change which one is active by using the active shortcut on the screen. And you can also, through the menu, you can remove, you can add, you can copy, and you can set active within there as well. When you go and look at a specific project, you'll see its name, and you can either tap on the screen or use the keypad. You can see a description. You can see the label prefix, which is what's going to, all your fibers that you test are going to say fiber ID, and then they're going to have one, two, three, four, because that's your label index. You can choose to auto increment or to manually increment, and in this case, I have the auto increment on. And that for setting up a project is really the bulk of it. Now I've used the back button to return, and I can go back one more to get to my screen and tap on my menu here so I see what all test tools are available. In this case, with the MPO tester, I have a power meter, so I have a power meter app. I have a source, so I have a source app. I always have my probe, which is my P5000i digital inspection probe, and I have my patch cord microscope, which we'll have a separate video for. Uh, the bulk of what people use the MPO LX for is the loss length, which is the next set of videos we'll talk about setting up for a loss length test, as well as forming a loss length test. And as I said already, we'll do a PCM video as well. Find out more at Bicom's website.